I just finished my gym once again. Started again, I had a big break because uh, I had um, a very busy month with modeling and all and uh, training people. So um, I was really tired. So I said, okay, maybe I, 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 I have to take a, a bit of a break, which I think was good for me, but I feel like shit. And uh, most of my jobs were for eating. So I had to eat a lot of food. And now I feel a bit fat. But it's all good. And we are uh, getting back on track right now. Yeah. So I've did I've done uh, uh, I did back and tricep and then half an hour of cardio. Cardio means just walking on an incline of 15 and just walking on a hill. That's the idea, yeah? Without holding the handles. And I put also a video on Instagram for this. Um, what I wanted to talk to you about, in order to lose weight, yeah, you know that you have to be in a caloric deficit. So this is the principle of losing weight. But for me, for example, and for some other people, uh, we are in a different situation because we already have the muscles, right? We don't necessarily need to build muscles in the same time. We just need to maintain the muscle, right? So when you're referring to losing weight, you are referring basically to losing fat, yeah? So um, most of the people they refer when losing, uh, they, they still want to keep their muscles, but they want to lose the fat, but uh, you know, they still look at the scale, which scale is not really that important, but the body composition is important, right? The ratio between uh, muscles and fat, right? So be, now what I, I need to do is just lower my fat percentage. In order to do that, I need to follow some principles. So we have a few options here, right? Um, basic rule you still need to train hard yeah so the intensity remains the same same program you don't need to modify basically nothing but you still need to create that deficit so you need to eat less and train hard yeah so you create that deficit from the food yeah and uh, of course your, your tra training will suck a bit but uh, what can you do you have to grind and uh, keep going yeah in until you reach your target yeah, so you have this one or you incorporate a bit of cardio in the trainings. So I don't really do cardio, almost never, right? So I just started to do a walking, so low intensity cardio for 30 minutes, walking incline on 15 incline, that's the maximum that my treadmill can go. And uh, at a pace at around three, which is just walking up the hill, that's the idea. You know, to maintain your heart rate around 130 uh, beats. Per minute yeah and uh, just maintaining there for 30 uh, minutes that will burn around 300 calories so i'm creating this 300 calories deficit from my training because when you train with weights you don't really burn that much uh, calories the idea is there to build muscles or to maintain the muscles not necessarily to burn the calories and i will eat uh, at a higher percent of protein yeah, so my protein will be around 50% of my diet yeah? because the proteins are more saturated, it creates more saturation in your, uh, in your stomach so you can keep going for a long per longer period of time. You know that when you eat sugar, it only holds you for a few minutes and after that you crave more. Yeah? So you will have to be efficient here. Yeah? So around 50% of my diet will be from proteins and uh, cut the sugars as much as I can. Of course, you cannot cut them completely eat um, vegetables for, for the rest of the calories and carbs yeah so it will be around 40 to 50 percent proteins and then 30 percent maybe carbs and the rest 20 percent from fat yeah because you also need fat in order to maintain your hormone levels and to you know your mind sane and uh, everything to function correctly yeah so don't ignore the fat, don't ignore the carbs because you need some energy for the training. Usually take the carbs before the training or what I do, I train fasted, uh, which for me works better, you know, but usually in the literature, the, they say that you need carbs like two hours before training in order to have the energy to push uh, your training to a higher intensity. For me, it works like that everybody is different yeah and as long as for me it works you know uh, i see no reason for you know 
some other people to not be the same case yeah so this is the idea you know keep the deficit create a deficit in you know from food or from your workout and train hard and just keep going until you reach your desired uh, body composition yeah that's the the principle so this is my plan now i'm I still you know um, having a bit of problem with time and i have to manage with that one because i need to keep a um, frequency of training around five to six times per week um, working out yeah because for me it doesn't work to do only three times a week i don't know i don't feel good i feel like shit. i need to stimulate my body all the time this is what i like and uh, it keeps me sane so for example if i train in the morning um, i feel good for the rest of the day you know and the more energized and that's why i i feel the energy also to talk to, to, to talk on the this kind of uh, videos because usually i don't feel the need to talk with nobody when i feel like depressed or i feel like shit. but training in the morning makes me do this more often which is good yeah all right um yeah this is one subject that i wanted to talk to you about and the second subject, subject I want to say about uh, social media, which I think it's, you know, everybody has in the social media, of course, you know, their good days. Most of the time, their good days, and there's a lot of lies there, right? And um, you know that I'm a natural bodybuilder. Bodybuilder. I'm just, you know, natural. I don't take any shit. I barely take uh, proteins. Also, I started again to. Uh, load myself with creatine because I think creatine is one of the best products out there. It's very cheap and it's um, it's very documented in the you know if you search on the web they, they documented a lot this this uh, supplement and it works really good uh, and it makes you uh, train on a higher intensity right it gives you a bit more energy explosive energy and um, with this motherfucker social media what I don't like is this uh, body transformations that, uh, that basically lie to you all the time you know in eight weeks you're gonna build like a crazy body or stuff like that you know which um, there is a few situations when you can do that yeah so for example for me if I gain now um, 20 kilos it's good in eight weeks I can lose these 20 kilos because I already been here and my body is already has the muscle memory and uh, I have the discipline and it's it's a bit easier for me but for for somebody who never trained to have this kind of transformation transformation it's quite in, impossible to do it in eight weeks you know the average uh, transformation for a normal person that haven't hasn't been trained at all it's around six months yeah so even for me when i started and i was training every day like crazy like crazy and i was I started at 16 imagine and I was developing my body everything was in my favor right I was eating a lot of food kind of <laughs> what I had from we didn't have proteins because the proteins only appeared after I you know in a few years after I started training but we were eating uh, from some magazines that we found and uh, they were saying to eat more and um, I had a dramatic change like this body transformation in about six months and everybody had like that you know so uh, we were in the prime of our lives everything was doing good uh, you know the hormones level was were to the roof everything you know and still took us six months uh, to transform and it's impossible to do to do that in like eight weeks it's crazy right so these motherfuckers are lied to, lying to you just to buy their programs you know and of that gives you false false hopes and uh, the problem that i have with this one is that um, makes people very frustrate, frustrated frustrated that the problem that i have with this one is that people get frustrated the problem that i have with this one is the um, the shitty marketing right so i'm always a believer that you know marketing has to be a bit real and to, you know to not lie to the people because eventually it will you will disappoint people you know in the end say yeah you promised me that you i will lose and stuff like that you know and after that you know who do i blame i blame the client or the client blames me blames me that uh, i lied to him from the beginning right 